Welcome to Nate Studio Desk. Today I want to share with you a webinar I did on how to redraw precedent floor plans. We're going to learn all about the 2D tools within Rhino, how to set line weights and manage layers. Without further ado, let's take a listen. Let's type in picture. Yeah, that's the floor plan. And then just place it. At there are other ways to you import information. For instance, you can do insert and import. The next command is scale. And we, you want to make sure that it is scale and not scale 1D. Scale 1D, if you do press scale 1D, would only scale an image in one direction. So let's do 10 feet. So scale, click, shift, click, and then I'm gonna type in 10, and you have to do the little feet sign. For this exercise, there'll be sort of three layers, I believe. One is like the construction lines and layers and regulating lines that you're using to analyze the plans. And so that's going to have a specific line weight and function. And then the actual plan, it, a layer for the plan itself, that's going to be like the most, the thing that's going to stick out the most. And then some of these sub elements, which would be like fixtures or uh, supplementary information. So to, in order to activate a layer, you need to make sure that it has this check mark on it. One way to do it would be just to create a rectangle. So I'd like click here, I click rectangle, select the rectangle and then hit offset. And then I would offset it the amount that the thickness of this wall and you can see that there is variation like this is thicker but we can always go back and adjust that so let's just do eight inches or nine inches so when you do it you need to click for the offset and then you can always to adjust this you can always select these points select that point select that point uh, and sort of drag it and um, that sort of thing is a way that you select these points because the wall thickness is going to vary. Yeah. And then what you would do off of that is you could come back in here and then just pick the center point and start to just with your polyline now draw around and then hit space bar. And then let's just turn off this image again. And then I have to do control T, which is the trim to make that one continuous line. I made a bunch of curves. So I have to, and then once I'm done, I would hit space bar. Right now they're separate lines. And so I would select these, type in join, and then you'll see that, okay, these are now one joined line. Draw lines where the openings are, and then select those line work, and then hit control T to trim that. Instead of drawing like a ton of mini lines, I would draw one big line and then notice that, yeah, the top plan and the bottom plan have the same line. And so I'm going to use that same line work. So you're sort of doing both things at a time. You're seeing where your alignments are and understanding how the first floor and the second floor are working together, which is going to start to tell you about the actual house itself and, and the windows and the alignments, where does the window align, where does it not? And then you're also just saving time because you're drawing less lines and you can do it quicker. I could come in here and type alt shift and drag. Uh, and then, you know, if I know that thickness, I can go alt shift drag, control T and then hit control T, which is the trim Select that, select that, and then go down and hit shift. That should be the way to do it. Um, so that might be the way, I don't know if you're even gonna draw those swings, but um, this is just if you were to. So let's set the blue or whatever you're using to cut. Uh, let's set that print width to one and then set these red lines construction things to print width a uh, hairline or 0.13. You could, I don't know if this is going to be allowed, but you could maybe change this to like a light gray as well. 
I don't know if you want to keep all the same black, but um, another option would be to go file properties line type, and you can do various types of dashes. Like if you have something ahead, uh, above that you need to represent, you could do uh, the, the hidden, or if you're expressing like um, a center point, you could use uh, center border. So there's these various line types. So, and then the, set the magenta to, uh, so like the, there's the section and then there's the secondary. Uh, the secondary, let's just set that to like 0.6. Uh, this is not necessary, but I think it's helpful to just make sure that you keep your views consistent. And in order to do that, if you're familiar with SketchUp, you have scenes and also in Rhino, you have what's called, oh, this is called named views. It's a way to save the view. So I'll come in here and do save view top. Uh, and that way, if I, like I said, go to sleep, I open up my Rhino again, and I'm like, oh, I needed that exact same floor plan. I, uh, this would be a way to snap back and, okay, I have the same view and I'm gonna keep everything consistent. So I'm gonna go file, print, print color, not display color, not, you could do black and white if you're not gonna do any types of uh, coloring in your, in your export, but, um, yeah, you could do print color and you'll notice that this is the scale by one uh, should work fine. And then hit print. Um, it's already line work. I just have to right click and hit release clipping mask. And then uh, I can select this line work and uh, change how it's displayed functionality. All right, well, I hope this tutorial was helpful. And if you'd like to see more tutorials like this and improve your architectural skills, uh, please subscribe and like the video. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you soon.